What is going on reefers? So today we'll be going to a customer's house and we're doing our normal two week service. But on this trip, we're also going to be fragging up their giant, and I mean like massive toadstool leather coral that they have. They've had this thing for years now and it's just growing like just insane. Like it's, every time I go there, it's bigger and bigger, I swear to God. So we're gonna go there and we're going to trim it up. Again, this will be like, I think the third or fourth time I've trimmed this coral up. Now we have to trim it up because it's getting so big and if anybody's ever kept a toadstool coral's nose, it's, they're almost like an umbrella and they will shade anything underneath them. So a lot of the corals underneath are being affected by it from the shading. Also, it's growing so fast and so quickly that it's really messing with the calcium alkalinity rates in the tank. So let's go ahead there right now. I'm gonna pack up and let's go to the tank and let's frag up this toadstool. So here we are at the tank and this is a Red Sea Peninsula style tank and right off one of the first things you notice when you walk in is the giant leather coral. Look at this thing and I just recently cut this. Look how massive it is. Now it's one of my favorite corals that we have in any customer's tanks. I mean this thing is really healthy looking. The polyps are, are fully out. It's just got such presence so I really love it for this aquarium. It's just getting so big that it's dominating the aquarium. Now, I want to add that I did just recently cut this, uh, I say a couple months back. Uh, you can tell because the uh, back side used to stick way out there. But if you look now, the front side is hanging over, so it's, it's, it's really lopsided. And it's starting to lean a lot. So the plan for today will be to cut this area all the way to there. And that should balance it out and prevent it from leaning, leaning over too much. This should also allow the corals on the bottom to get a lot more light. So this tank has one of my favorite fish in it, this puffer. And he's, he's definitely a big boy and you can tell he's getting fed well. You can see there's uh, three clams right there that he's been munching on, but yeah, beautiful fish. So far as the other corals in this tank, uh, most of them are softies and they're all doing amazing. You see there's another toadstool there. The mushrooms are huge, they're gigantic. There's another uh, leather coral up there. Uh, you got some zoas and some mushrooms there. As of right now, it is a softy dominated tank, but we do have this nice colony of hammer coral, which is doing great and growing really, really well for us. And then we have a colony of blastos right here that's starting to really take off. And I really like to see some more LPS and SPS in this tank's future uh, once the dust is settled. Um, and I think part of getting to where we want to be is getting rid of this toadstool. And so I'm definitely going to hack that up pretty good today. Now, don't get me wrong. I think it looks dope in the tank. It looks amazing in the tank, especially when it is big. But... Um we'll give it a quick trim we'll balance it out and then it'll grow more evenly and then we'll just uh it'll look it, it'll look good again it this thing just grows just so quickly and so fast so i found the area where i'm going to come from it's got like a little natural groove there and uh it's not too thick here so it should be pretty smooth now it's kind of hard to do this and film at the same time uh but luckily it's almost kind of naturally uh coming off it, so it's not taking much force for this to um this blade to cut and we just got a little bit more to go right here i sharpened this blade a bit before i started so it's uh it's working better and yeah there it's it came off uh simple enough and there it is we got it like I said, I've cut this uh, this coral before, so this is not my first time trimming it up. Uh, but that's a good sized piece that we have here. So uh, I'll probably bag this up and we'll take it back to the shop and it should take a little bit to heal, but we got some uh, exposed flesh there, but this thing heals up really nice. Might take a couple weeks, but it'll heal up really nice. So after all that cutting and stuff, I wanna make sure I'm gonna do a really big water change right now, uh, probably about 50% uh, as, as well as putting fresh carbon in here to help with any toxins. So we got it out. Uh, luckily it shrunk up a lot uh, when I grabbed it. So it's able to fit in this bag pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and secure this in the van, put it in this cooler for now until I can get to it later. And here's our final product. That's a heck of a haircut on that coral. And um, like I said, I've cut this thing multiple times before. There's some exposed flesh still, but that will heal up in the next week or two. It's always bounced back real strong, but we had to do it so that the corals underneath can have more light. So we're all set here. Everything looks good. Let's head back to the shop. 
I'm back at the shop now and I put the toadstool in a 10 gallon aquarium, which is right here. And it's a little bit of a quarantine situation that we have going on here. We're going to treat it, um, make sure it dipped and doesn't have any parasites or pests on it. Uh, hydroids, I think is what I'm worried about the most right now. So the next three days will be spent just trying to make sure that he's clean. After that, what you do with these guys is you chop them up into little pieces. <sighs> you chop them up and then you see how they're flat in the bottom there? So you chop them up and then that flat little piece, eventually you put some gravel on there. Eventually they grow like a little appendage, like a little uh, foot, kind of like a mushroom stock, hence the name toadstool mushroom. And it will grow and that'll attach to something. And then you have a little baby toadstool. So they're really easy to propagate and, and they actually do really well with cutting. They heal very fast. So um, one of the easier corals for sure to frag up. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll have a bunch of these frags available pretty soon once they go through quarantine. Um, I'm excited about that. That'll probably be, I'm, I'm thinking about two, three month process. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one. See you in the next one.